Hey guys, do you ever want to know how to leave an impression with people that you just met that sticks with them for life? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to show you five different ways to make it happen. Oh, and it's not what you think. All right, so we want to make an impression with people right when you first meet. Instant, hard connection, uh, and this is not the kind of advice you've probably just been read about, whether it's, you know, give a smile, make eye contact, and just be an overall nice, friendly dude. Yes, these are all good, but everybody in the city knows how to do these things. So let's get into some ninja tactics that you can use the next time you meet someone and want them to remember you for weeks to come. Step one, I want you, the moment you meet somebody, to use their name repeatedly, okay? So, I'm gonna show you a fun little routine in order to make this happen. Now, when you, when you first get introduced to them, you're gonna learn their name. So, you meet a girl, she goes, hi, my name is Sarah. All right, thing. Everybody's uh, favorite word is gonna be their own name. So now, I wanna say their name a few times, just so one, I remember their name, and I can bring it up repeatedly within a conversation. And two, because every time she hears it, it gives her a little bit more feeling of rapport and familiarity with me. So here's a fun trick you can do the moment you go and meet somebody else. You hear the name is Sarah, right? And you go, Sarah, nice to meet you. Bing, first time I said it. Now, tell me something, Sarah. Is that Sarah with an A at the end or Sarah with an H at the end? She goes, oh, it's Sarah with an H at the end. And you can be like, thank God, I hate those Sarahs with the A at the end. Now, what I just did there was I said Sarah five times, all seamlessly in that initial interaction. What that's gonna do is make sure I don't forget her name, and the more I say it, the more, just the better she's gonna feel as I go through the conversation. Instead of saying, hey, do you uh, wanna go and check out XYZ? I'm like, hey, Sarah, how about we check out XYZ, all right? The more you use their name, the more rapport they're gonna have and the more they're gonna feel that you are a familiar friend. Number two, my personal favorite is going to be uh, social proof, okay? So, now we, you can't always be rolling around with a ton of people everywhere you go, although if you could, that's going to be amazing, okay? But social proof just basically means figure out where they're from, uh, what they do, what kind of circles they're with, and then see if you can name drop. Do you know somebody in their connection? Do you know somebody uh, within you know, their social circle, right? If you can name drop people that they might know, or even if they don't know, it's just people that they frequent, maybe a bar, maybe a, a company, uh, whatever it is, you are now going to be seen as more within their circle already versus a stranger frame that we all have when we meet someone for the first time. I'm also gonna say everybody hates someone who's just on them nonstop. So, after you meet them, let them see you being a little bit of a social butterfly. Now, this is very counterintuitive. Most people, when they meet someone for the first time, they wanna go all at it. They wanna be right in their face and talk, 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 and do as much as possible, right? But that comes off needy, rapport-seeking, try-hard, uh, usually not the best type of result. So, in order to combat this, let them see you as a person who knows everybody in the venue or whatever event that you're at. Let them see you be a social butterfly, and then they're gonna realize this is a guy I should probably get to know because he's connected and seemingly knows everybody. Now, whether you know everybody or not, that's irrelevant, okay? It's all about playing the perception. It's all about how uh, she sees you or he sees you. And if you're talking to everybody, it, the perception is you know everybody. And that's a great place to be, especially with status-wise. Step three, I want you to break the social script. When we meet people, we go through the same boring lines over and over again. Hi, how are you? What do you do? Oh, where are you from? That's interesting, how do you like it here? What got you into that line of work? Boring, okay? Just imagine someone just gradually falling asleep in their mind. Uh, it just gets worse and worse, all right? So, here's the beautiful thing. If you know the social script, which is just means this is the appropriate thing to say, then you already know how to break the social script. Next time somebody asks how your day's going, be like, 
awful. I, I, I broke a, I broke a nail, you know, I broke a little bit of a toe. It's, it hurt. Well, I stubbed my toe this morning. But you know what? I'm recovering. I'm gonna make. I mean, I'm gonna make it work. Or maybe the op opposite. They go, "How's your day going?" Fantastic. I just opened the unopenable pickle jar, and my self-esteem is at an all-time high. How's your day going, right? Give them an answer or something they don't respect, something that breaks the status quo. By saying certain things, or maybe giving a silly answer if they ask you a question, saying an answer that's kind of like a little bit out there that adds a little bit of humor, that's gonna make you stand out so much more because very few people are used to having those conversations, especially with people that they just met. All right. Now, it's a big problem, especially with networking events or if there's a girl that you really like, we have a tendency to want to brag, tell them about us, uh, you know, let them know our deal because let's face it, if we meet somebody we like, we want to impress them, right? We want to, we want to put our best foot forward and show them what we're about, except they don't care. They don't know you, all right? The only thing that they're going to remember from you is how you made them feel. And guess what everybody's favorite topic is? Any clue? Maybe you got this, maybe you didn't, but it is, it is uh, them. Everybody's favorite topic is going to be themselves. So, what does this mean? Keep the conversation relevant to them in some way, shape, and form. All right, they don't wanna talk about third party topics. They don't wanna be talking about, they don't wanna be hearing your story that is irrelevant, has nothing to do with them, about how you went to uh, a basketball game and you got courtside seats and it was amazing and you were so cool and they, they should have been there, right? Well, if they weren't there, why do they care? Keep it about them, get what's relevant to them, all right? What do they care about and have them talk to you about it. Be curious. That's gonna go so much farther and make them remember you more because they just invested so much more in, our, uh, in the interaction with you than they did with pretty much anyone else that they met that night. And I wanna leave you with the fifth thing, okay? Now, so much what we talked about is all about them, all about them. Using their names, letting them see you know everybody, right? Keeping the conversation on them for, for Christ's sake. The last one, now this is where you get to shine. And that is gonna be the concept of adding illusionary value. What this means is, when you talk to them for a while, you've kept it about them, you're now gonna get a good sense of what do they care about? What do they value? What do they like? Once you know this, now you can say, you know what, I wanna help you out. I'm gonna tell you a little bit of secret, every single one of us is inherently selfish. Now, I would like to think I'm, I'm pretty altruistic, I love helping people, I wanna see people grow, but at the end of the day, we are just uh, hardwired to get pinged on, ooh, that's valuable to me, or oh my God, that can help my life, like I wanna to gravitate towards that. When you meet someone, sh offer them some kind of value, even if it's illusionary, it doesn't matter whether you want to introduce them to a friend who is in their line of work who could help them out, or maybe you want to uh, offer them some really great tickets to a game, or you just have a connection somewhere and you would love to help them out because they just seem like really friendly and great people. Whether or not you can do this is almost kind of irrelevant. Ideally you can, because now we can back it up, but remember, you just have to give them that feeling in that moment and they'll remember you. If it comes up later, in, the lo later uh, in time, a week, a month later, and you start hitting it off, and they ask about it again, you know what? Things fell through. You don't got the tickets anymore. Uh, your friend's not really looking to hire. It sucks, but you'll keep a lookout for them. If you actually are a social butterfly, though, you will meet so many people, and then you can be that guy who connects everyone with everyone. And honestly, that is one of the most valuable guys to know. So. Here's the thing I want you to do. Go through those five things, add value, make it about them, uh, be a guy who's not needy and talking to everybody, all right? Uh, have that kind of lifestyle. And if you implement these five tips, I promise you, people are not gonna forget you, my friend, okay? You are gonna stick on their mind. So please, try this at home, to go out for a week, use these techniques, and if for any reason, um, you found this to be really working well for you, and, or if you find it's not working that well, either way, let me know, leave a comment, um, and tell me what you guys wanna hear about, okay? I would love to get your thoughts. So I really do hope this helped out. Uh, you know what, just please, like, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, 
leave a comment. The more active you are, the more stuff you give me, I'm telling you right now, I will make sure to give you the best stuff possible. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, 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 oh,